All right, guys, we're about to play this hole with a dimpleless golf ball. Any predictions on how it's gonna go? Drop in the comments. Mike, let's tee off and see what this thing does. So is this thing gonna fly straight? Like, what's the deal here? I guess I'll we'll find what, out, right? <laughs> it looks, it looks like I'm looking down at a ping pong ball. Note that the only difference in this golf ball is the dimples. The inside, the weight, the size, everything else is the same. The only difference is there are no dimples on the outer cover. Oh yeah, it's not going far, but it's straight. You see it dip right down? You see how it's, it's the Dips, trajectory it's just... started and it went whoop? Yeah. So you're not gonna be able to carry that. No? No, aim right. See that? See how it dipped down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got no height out of it. Wild, right? Ooh, let's see if we make better than triple bogey here. All right, so what do you learn real quick? Dimples matter. And in fact, there's an interesting kind of story behind it. When they first started playing golf, the very first golfers, the ball was actually smooth. And what they started to notice was that the balls that had been used, the balls that were nicked up and dinged up a bit, were traveling further. Now, they didn't know at the time exactly why, but you know, us being golfers, we all want to get better, so they started to err on the side of using the golf balls that had, were a little bit dinged and nicked up so that they would travel further. Jumping fast forward to the actual science of it is that the dimple pattern actually, they act as turbulators. I know, big word. But basically what it means is that it creates a little shell of turbulence, wind turbulence around the ball that reduces drag. So what ends up happening is the ball goes twice or even more so further with the dimples. Now the exact dimple science, the dimple pattern science that goes into it is some real extreme aerodynamics. And even the smallest little differences in depths can make huge differences. So a lot, a lot of time and R&D dollars goes into making sure that dimple pattern is maximized so that it reduces drag enough that that ball gets up in the air. So you saw it kind of when we hit it, it, it started its normal trajectory but then just died. It didn't actually get going. And that's a big reason why. I bet you want this right about now. I wish. See that? Yeah, I mean, you got it. You advanced it straight, fairway. It gets to that tipping point where it wants to go, and then it just... There we go. There you go, middle of the fairway. So it's important to point out that the ball feels the same on the club because, like I said, everything inside of that outer casing layer is exactly the same as the ball we normally play, a Pro V1. Uh, however, the only difference is that dimple pattern is missing and I think it's one thing that it really sheds light on is how important each small design element of the golf ball is and sometimes we forget how much technology actually goes into the golf ball. We end up thinking about the advancements in golf clubs but the golf ball. So as you can see, again, you look at a golf ball, those dimples are not very deep. It doesn't take much to disturb that outer layer of air and create those turbulators. Turbulators? as they say, good luck pronouncing that. But that's what, again, reduces that drag, makes the golf ball go twice as far. Okay, what do we got? All right, so uh, for me, unfortunately, I'm in the Primo 100 shot, 97 middle. So normally it would be a 60, but I'm gonna take a pitching wedge. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna drop down three clubs to a pitch. Maybe I can get the hang of this thing. There you go. You're getting the hang Watch, of it. No spin, Raj. Gone. <laughs> Hits the green, it just rolls. There's no spin on that at all. Look at this guy. Look at this. Brilliant. <laughs> All right, I'm interested to see how this ball is going to roll in the putting green. It's going to be like rolling a heavy ping pong ball. It's going to be like hitting a, uh, a pool ball. A cue, yeah. Yeah, you know, exactly. All right, here. Like you said, Mike, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Eight ball, corner pocket. Mm, yeah. I'm going to play <laughs> the rest of the round with this ball. Right? right? Yeah, right. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I read the break wrong. Yep, it feels the same though, right? All right. All right, fun experiment, but I tell you what, it's gonna feel good to get back to the real golf ball. But tell us in the comments, did it perform like you expected? Did you guess it? Because I tell you what, before going into this and doing a little bit of research, I wasn't sure what it was gonna do. But really interesting, like I said, that golf ball technology, a lot goes into that ball that's on your tee.